Good afternoon, everybody. Anna here. In my pre-recorded video here today, I'm going to show and test the contents of a 5.85 pound jewelry lot that I had purchased from shopgoodwill.com. Before I get into that, I want to say welcome to my new subscribers. Um, and I hope that you've taken a chance to check out my channel. You'll note that from the very beginning to the present that I have, um, I'm a work in progress. I have made improvements and I continue to evolve and I will continue to do so. And I hope you'll stick around to join me on my journey of um, learning and loving jewelry. So I am a, I buy, collect, and I resell vintage costume jewelry. Um, and stone sterling and some modern jewelry as well anything that i consider to be beautiful unique fantastic i pick it up and i either keep it or i offer it to my um, customers my subscribers i have on mondays i have a um an auction every monday at 8 p.m eastern time and here on my channel you may want to go check that out and i also do a thrifty thursday where i offer beautiful jewelry at affordable prices um so maybe you want to check one of those videos out the jewelry remains available until the following thursday then i put it back into my inventory once i released a new video and they come out thursday late morning early afternoon typically um i do unboxings as i'm going to do here today and I do thrift hauls. I am very fortunate to have two fantastic um, local thrifts where I'm able to find, um, you know, desirable costume, jewelry, stone, etc. Um, I, I, Barrera, YSL, Christian Dior, etc. Um, some more than others, Monet, um, anything that I, I aim to. I go out when I do go. If I know what my customers, my subscribers like, I zone in and I look for what I think they would like and as my goal is to offer customer satisfaction on every level to the individuals that I do serve as their jewelry provider one of their jewelry providers so keep that in mind if there's ever anything you see that I show do not be afraid to email me at vintagejewelrygalertyahoo.com if it's an item that I am able to sell before auction I would be happy to do so but that's not all I want to do on my channel is sell. It is my goal to also offer content that my subscribers enjoy. And that um, would be the unboxings, the thrift hauls. And I attempt, as I learn, not attempt, as I learn, I do slight educational videos. I know I'm nowhere near an, an um, expert. But one thing I do is... Um, jewelry identification by hallmark because you know you look at the maker's mark on the jewelry you can determine what year it is i will be doing an eighth year one soon my collection of napier is collecting up i think i have like 30 pieces in there so that'll be next video i release it's a big thick encyclopedic type book and it's going to take me a while to read but i will get through every piece of jewelry and then i will do a video i may even try to edit it all right but let me get started here i think i've i've done enough um talking so the here's the box um i am going to pour it out into a bigger pan try not to pull over my hopefully i didn't break anything um i doubt it i mean they sent me the box without a um it wasn't in a bag or anything a little strange but i mean they do ship them like that sometimes but usually they're in a bag right, let me get started this Well, this is nice, I think. Well, I'm going to move that to the side, okay? Oh, back here is my inspiration and my loyalty, where my loyalty lies. That's with my children. These are little artwork pieces that my 11-year-old has painted that I proudly display in my background. Yeah. So, just wanted to show that. And I love that necklace there I had the, um, I think it's a fertility necklace of a goddess in the water, but it's still fantastic. All right, whatever. Uh, I'm supposed to be showing the jewelry I just got, right, ladies and gentlemen? This is nice. This looks, this is a vintage type thing. Some are glass and some are plastic, I think, or they may all be glass. Here, I'm moving it a lot and I'm not trying to. Sorry about that. Um, You have the rhinestone rondelles there. 
and then you have plastic um, acrylic pieces and um and glass faux pearls and this isn't a very big bust and i am using my phone because for me with unhaulings it's much e much easier to show it this is pretty nice it looks like a vintage piece to me this is one of those tie necklaces um like a wrap around necklace it's long it's at least this is like a at least a three and a half foot necklace i'm not going to measure it if i offer it for sale at some point i obviously i'll do it then but there you go i think it's nice hopefully i'm not too close that's just that that's a nice one i'm going to put keep <clears throat> jewelry lot we'll go over there <laughs> this may be hard to see this is is a very feels like a base metal and what do we have on it? A llama, that looks like, or an alpaca. Let me look at it. Oh, there's like a man, a woman on there. It's a thin bracelet, but it's, it's cute. It needs cleaned up. And it doesn't feel like sterling, but it's still, it's a cute little cuff bracelet. I feel like maybe my lighting's shiny. Did down too close here. Um. because yeah, it's hard to see what's on it, isn't it? That's a bracelet. <clears throat> this is a, a a plastic and double plastic gold, and then that's a metal. I mean, you know, it's just a bracelet. A stretch one. A stretch is a little weak in that. This is like a, like it feels furry. <laughs> it's kind of furry. It's smooth. Um, bracelet hair. A magnetic clamper. I made this like myself. It's funny how it has a B on it. Um, it works well. Like I ordered the white ones. I don't like them as much. I need. To, I I like the longer, thinner one like this. That's a cute bracelet, though. I think. A pair of pearls. Look, these are nice. I hang these on the pink one. I have multiple colors. And they have a knot in between each one. There you have four different colors here, it looks like. You have the rusty, like rust colored one, a grayish, a blue, and an off white um, pearls. These are freshwater pearls. These are real, they're not faux. And I don't know if that's gold at the end. I'll test it to see. But that's nice, I think. I like that one. Um, like it says three clasp on it. And there's a string it needs adjusted. But I, I don't want to screw them I'm like together to show it. But this looks like this one's pearly. I guess that's mother of pearl or look at it yeah yeah um and this is dyed what is this dyed what shell i guess it's a full shell necklace i honestly i don't know i know <laughs> it's hard to tell um this look like mother of pearl pieces hair and this is shell or it's shell it's definitely not coral um i don't believe it's coral all right, it's a nice necklace over the although it's doubled up you have six strands three of each i'm not going to screw these things shut but there it is it's not a bad necklace I, i'm thinking it would look good all twisted up there's that in there this is broken but those are pearls on there um a little rough looking but they are real i can tell by looking at them and it feels like stone could be glass if it was probably cold where it was sitting. But that's broken. That'll go into a craft lot. Somebody can use that for something. I'm going to test this. I don't... Some kind of leaf. It looks like a marijuana leaf. I don't know if it is, but I'm going to scratch test it just to see. It kind of looks like a silver line, doesn't it? Little ring... 
I don't get much silver in these lots. It's not, um, the shop Goodwill lot's not much. I get a lot that's fakely marked as sterling. So if I were, if you get them, I would be sure to test. It's not sterling and I don't even know what that's supposed to be on there. I don't know, whatever. Um, it's something. <laughs> it's some kind of leaf, but it's not real either. I did test it. I have a rough, uh, raw piece of amber. It's a little beat up here. Look at it. On a hawk like thing. But it is real. I could just, yeah, it has that sticky, that feel that it has in the look. And I know that other things glow as well, but this is glowing. Um, it's a little rough looking though, but it is amber. And then there's this necklace. This is what I saw when I looked at the Goodwill lot through the, you know, you take a look and you see if maybe you want to get it. And this is what I had seen and what made me buy it. Um, this, these are amber pieces on here. And they feel like amber as well. And I didn't test them but I could do the little acetone test on them. You can't do the floating one with this one, obviously, but I'm getting pretty good at eye and amber, and this is amber right there, um, and turquoise chips. I didn't test the, let me test the ends. Oh, sorry. Just curious, why not? Just to see if it's sterling on the ends. If this is what it looks like. Like, that looks a little strange, like somebody threw this together themselves, but that definitely. <laughs> Looks like somebody's hung a little... Oh, that definitely looks like sterling, actually. I'm laughing about it, but... I think all the pieces on it are sterling. The hook just looked a little strange to me. Um, but yeah, it is sterling. Let's see. Can you see that? Yeah, it lights up blue. So the findings are sterling on it, all of them. Um, and it, it's turquoise and amber. It's not a bad necklace. I don't, um, for what I paid for the slot, getting the pearls in this and that vintage tie necklace, definitely well worth it. But there, somebody will like that. I think you twist it. Um, you can wear it twisted. This could be unraveled and just there. Amber and turquoise necklace turquoise chippy that makes it well worth it even a raw piece my my little one likes this i figure why not she can wear it i'll put it on a chain for her. um this nice little clamper bracelet don't you think i do look I've moved down considerably, hopefully not too slow. I'm going to be perfectly honest, my spirits are a little low today. People get this long, can hear this little story of mine. I am, when I behave a way or I'm involved in a situation that makes me um, not comfortable with the way I acted or the way other people around me are acting, I often, I feel a little, I pause and I enter introspection. And I'm in an introspection phase now. Can you tell my voice is a little, a lot slower? And I'm not down, I'm not depressed, but I'm in a phase of thinking right now. So I am reevaluating myself, the interactions I've had with others and how I behaved and how I want to behave in the future and how I want to treat other people and what I consider to be right um, and wrong. You know, what? not right and wrong, I don't really want to say that. What makes me comfortable with my own behavior of how I've acted and how I've behaved? So if you notice a change in the slowness, maybe it's a good thing. I am now in a, a pausing phase um, where I do enter introspection for quite some time. Can't do total introspection of my daughter here and life goes on. But I'm thinking about things that have happened over the last couple of weeks in my life and how they how I feel about them. But um, here's this. It's nice, nice clamper. Somebody will like that. So is this one. I, so far I've got, I think this is decent. I, I'm not gonna say how much I paid for it, but I, I got a good deal on this, so. <clears throat> it's one of the cheaper lots, actually, and considering the big chunk of amber and uh, turquoise sitting there. This is a little, um, oh, it's so cute. Like an Inca looking, it's a stick pen, look. <laughs> And he has a bird on his head. Can you see that? So he's cool. 
It's a, like a three inch stick pin. With a bird on his head. <clears throat> I thought he was cool. This honestly, I don't, you know, I'm not trying, this is completely yucky and I would toss it. Watch, it's probably Sterling Stover that's dirty. Let's scratch it and make sure it's not, I mean, you never know. Nah, it's not. It's off. It's really faded and it's kind of messy. Um, I feel like my lighting looks darker than normal and I don't know why. <clears throat> I don't have any windows. They're all covered in here. Um, there we go. I'll put that light a little bit closer. One second. I don't, I like being bright. But I'm going to toss it. It's really messy. And I don't throw anything away, really. But that was one, I believe, that needed to be tossed. I wouldn't want to pass that off to anybody. I got a knot. Let's move to next. Um, this one looked nice to me. So I want to unknot this. Look, there's lovely glass shiny beads in the metal balls in between. And then you have the crystal beads. And I do, I enjoy doing the Goodwill lots. I also like go hand picking things, but I think this is, this is enjoyable to me um, in the sense that you don't know what you're going to find. So I do like doing it when I get a lot that, when I get a bad lot occasionally, it's like, ugh, but it is what it is. It's the, it's, you never know what you're going to get. You could get something really great. This is tangled up and I do not want to break it. Oh Lord, wish I had Better vision. I do have my glasses on, though. <laughs> I'm working on getting a pair that I'm more comfortable wearing as well that fit my face. I have a small face. Um, I'm pretty... Yeah, I'm, only, I'm, a, I'm only five foot. Maybe a little bit like five foot five, actually. Five foot, I'm not over that. And I'm not ashamed of that either. But um, I didn't test the stones. Like, this kind of looks like rose quartz in the middle. But... Yeah, my glasses are big on my head, so I hate them. The reading ones I got. And the ones from, like, Foster Grant in the dollar store are just really ugly as well. So, I hate wearing them when I'm on camera, but I I have to wear them until I get a better pair. That is what it is. All right. Um, I can't get it untangled, and I don't want to break it. So, and I don't want to spend it out. Look how pretty. It's a little crown on it. This is nice. And those are lovely. They're glass, these crystals, and then glass, black glass beads. And it's nice. I don't want to break it, so I'm going to um, leave it as is for now, connected to this big one here. <clears throat> what is that? Oh, my Lord, what is that? Okay, that's got something, like, wrapped around it. It's like he deliberately tried. And I don't have my proscenium over here, but these are enamel and, um, See, they slightly glow. It's so sticky. That doesn't like that. That's amber. Um, that's acrylic of some sort, and or some type of resin. But it's I wouldn't bet that as to be amber. Like this one probably shines to. No, um, <clears throat> it's just some kind of resin. It shines. It glows a little bit. You have to be careful on that as well. Especially if you're selling to people, you don't want to sell something that's not real. Um, but anyways, we have glass on here. These definitely feel like glass. And those are resin pieces and green resin as well. But I've got untangled them. I, that red necklace is lovely, I think. The red and crystal glass, I like it. <clears throat> I feel like I'm moving way slower than normal. I hope that's okay with everybody. I know I'm a lot faster than this normally. So sometimes I'm too fast. Little elephants. It's kind of cute. It's a very costume piece. For those of you that like the trunk up elephant. Um, oh, it's so cute because look. Ah, oh, there's a mummy and babies. Eva might like this actually. It's very nice. Um, I think it's cute. I'll put that over here <clears throat> in the Eva pal. It's usually different pals for different things. See that too? Is that amber? I doubt it, but look how it look, let me let me show you. It's so bizarre. I'll put it through the test. Different I can't float it. But look, look at this. There's how different things shine. Just because it shines does not mean it's amber. 
get that. I mean, is that amber? I, is this sterling? Let me test it, actually. Let me test the sterling content. <clears throat> mm -mm, definitely not am um, definitely not sterling there. Um, see what I mean? Um, that's the scratch right there. You see what that looks like? If it was sterling, it would be a lovely, like, uh, wax you know like a very bright nice silver silver ah, silvery line um so you hear people say it goes on like butter and that's true because it does um let me get my loopy loop loopy doopy where'd it go i don't know i still need a loop even with my glasses i mean who doesn't for small writing i just want to see what this says on it give me a minute i'll get a magnifying glass this is my favorite magnifying glass i love it it's carved this is Monet. Oh, it's nice Monet. I'll clean it up. It'll clean up pretty, but definitely not amber. That is resin um, on there um, of some other sort, some type of plastic there. But it's a Monet. I'll clean it. It's not bad. Um, needs wiped up. You've got like nice little like yellowish citrine kind of color rhinestones all around those parts. And then you've got these pieces the glow under light. <laughs> this is an acrylic type of thing. And it is a J Hawk with Monet on there. I'll look this, um, I'll clean it up. It should clean up fairly well. It's an older Monet. It's not extremely modern. Um, just let me look at it for a minute. I can look later. You guys don't need to know what date it dates, right? You're not buying it. Um, I don't know this friend. I'll look them up. Um, I don't even, I feel shell or something, like some kind of, I don't know if anybody ever hear of that. It says nickel free. It's costume jewelry. Let me scrape it to see if it tests the sterling. Just to see, because I never heard of the brand. I'm scratching the clasp and it's like a weird color coming off. Weird, different looking than like brass even. Um. But definitely not sterling. But here it is. It's kind of, I think it's a nice colorful set. You have these little tubes all over it um, of different colors. Green, yellow, and like in a very faint, faint like coral color there. And you got a pair of, there were two earrings. I, oh, maybe there aren't. I'll see. There might be another earring in here. If not, I have one earring. Um, there it is. There are two earrings. It's a set. That's something that'll come to Thrifty Thursday, definitely, probably. Um, I mean, somebody will like that, I think. It's not a bad necklace, I don't think. All right, and then I have this that I'm trying to get untangled. I thought this looked nice, too, when I eyed it through the box. It's costume jewelry, of course, but it seems fairly well made. I like the chain. See that? Um... I'm gonna get untangled. This is hard to get things untangled, like pay, to be patient with it. Um, you have to be careful you don't break anything. Especially, I believe a couple of these little tiny chains are sterling necklaces, and they're, I mean, they're not extremely valuable, but I don't wanna break them um, either. They can be utilized to chains, even if the pieces on the end aren't good, the chains can be used to put on small pendants. Um, for a private use or resale, obviously. But it's nice, I think. It's got a good weight to it. And it has a lobster claw and a ball on the end. But um, I thought it was nice. I like the chain that's on it. I mean, it's... These are all acrylic. But I think it's a nice necklace. Here's the back of it. I don't know who the maker is on it. For I know it could be paparazzi. I don't know. It feels, it feels, I don't know. I'm not familiar with paparazzi jewelry, so I can't say how the quality's made, but that one feels like it's well made. Oh, this is really adorable. Look at him. Eh, his head's twisted. It's a little boy. Oh, he's so cute. Little boy with some missing stones in his little overalls, but... I will test him. I'm in a testing kind of mood today. 
I'm in a slow down type of mood today. He's brass, definitely. He scratches as such. Or some other type of metal. He's not sterling. I can tell just by scratching, so I won't even put the, um, the acid on there. But. Okay, he's a little knotted up, and I'll knot him later. But look how adorable he is. I'm not going to sit there and unknot him. He's, he's cute, though, don't you think? Little fella. He's got a cute little ball cap on on the side. Reminds me of Leo, kind of, my grandson. <laughs> he wears hats. He got a haircut, and he wasn't happy about it. But he's, he's such a handsome child. Both of them are. The baby's just... Baby's, baby David's adorable. To me, he's the most adorable baby in the world. Um, <laughs> I'm going to test this. But that feels like acrylic or plastic of some sort. But I need a bigger stone. Something I got to work towards. Um, it's not sterling. It's coming off brassy looking. This feels suede -ish hair. Like, like it's suede. But that's some kind of plastic or acrylic there. Looks like it could be stone, but that's definitely not. that i'm still gonna put it on the usable pal might be able to do something like that. this is all broken up i will put that in craft to see if anybody wants it um oh i have a caged pearl here look at this um and it's i believe that's a real pearl in there i could tell by looking at it i don't have to tooth it i have gotten to that point i can some pearls are harder to tell, but this one I can see that it's real. But the metal, it's not sterling. Maybe, huh. I mean, the chain even looks like it's sterling, but hold on a second. Let me, I don't know. I'll test it later. But look, it's a, it's a nice necklace. Um, There we go. Oh, wow. Wait. Um, okay, this looks like sterling. And when I saw it, I, I was thinking it's a sterling chain. I'll test it. I'm not going to do it now. I don't want to take too much time doing that. But it's a caged pearl in there. It's a real one. Looks like an, it's actually a nice pearl in there. Um, there's that. Let me put that where it's not going to gnaw up again. And this, that is all knotted up. And that's some kind of acrylic in there. Let's see. It's really knotted up. I'll put it over there for now. Um, this is just a big tassel. It like broke off of a necklace, it looks like. Um, it is knotted up in this. I'm going to leave these. Let me see. Okay. Look, it's a, somebody could craft with that. Maybe somebody would be interested. It looks like all the pave style rhinestones are in place there. And you got a long tassel. That go, would go into craft. I got to get craft lots together. And I, I, I put them online. If anybody's interested, I would be able to make up what they were asking for. These are glass, but that's not sterling as far as I can tell. <clears throat> And then rub them together. Um, I to be careful. I know rubbing pearls together, but those look faux. Just stick them there. This is this. Oh, look at this clasp. It is a like a um an Art Deco look. I'm not saying it is. It did a stone fall out of it. Hold on, my eyes are so bad. Yeah, there's a stone missing in it. <clears throat> Maybe it's laying at the bottom. But it's pretty. It's a box clasp. And these are glass faux pearls here. But the clasp is rather nice on it. Let me put it on a long, bigger, slightly bigger one. They're an off-weight. And they have that pretty, um, like, Art Deco look. I'm not saying it's Art Deco. But it, you know, it has that little, it's a, like, different shape type look to it. It's nice, though. Um, hopefully the stone's down there. I like 
them. I think they're nice. They're not in their class and they're faux, but they're, they have a nice feel to them. I don't know if I have the other stone to that or not. If not, those, um, somebody could still wear them, but they would want to replace the stone. This is just, this is like acrylic or something, some kind of, feels like wood and glass. And it looks messy as, <laughs> unwrap it a little bit. Um, this is a little strange looking, look, like, what is that? It has a toggle clasp on it and it's a bunch of, well, this is a bunch of little um, pieces that somebody could take off and make a, like a bracelet with or something if they wanted. I don't believe they're sterling. They don't have that fail. Let me scratch a little piece. No, these are not, but it has a tiny toggle on it and look how big it is. Look, let's open it. It's like. I think it's just holding a bunch of charms. And there are a bunch of charms here. Somebody will like that one. Some hoops, let me test them. No, can tell right away, but they're not bad looking. I don't think the, it's a base, a white metal. I call them a base metal. Um, that's my choice because I don't know what kind it is of words, um, but some people call it white metal, people call it different things. I can't say they're brass for sure. I don't know that. I don't know what the content is. I have not tested it. So I will call them a metal, a silver tone. How's that? They're nice though, they're nice hoops, I think. I'm not really a big hoop wearer, I'm afraid, because they get tangled up in my hair. Unless I'd have them pulled back. There's a lot of hair on my head. Um, I'm sure you've seen that. <laughs> no, I have a large amount of hair. Okay, I wanted to test this bale. Let me flip it over and look at it though. I don't even know what that is on there. But this feels, it's stone. Possibly onyx. I'll test it on a presidium. I want to, I'm going to test the, um, the, the little line that I stripped that I did and see if that done uh, if the bale is sterling it's not it's costume piece of some part it could be still could be onyx I don't know I'll test it to see but I have no idea what that is even that's supposed to be means something I don't think this was a bad lot I'm happy with it it was very inexpensive um I got a good deal on it these are glass Got different colors of glass seed beads wrapped around a gold tone post and piece here. I think those are nice as well. What's her name? Araka, if I'm pronouncing that right. Wow, that's really bent up. Um, they're bending awfully easy. I test these for. I doubt they're gold. The color looks a little different though. Um, they're bending extremely easy. Um, gold bends easy. I, I would test them, honestly, just to make sure the base wasn't gold or something. That post piece, I'll test them. Not now, though. I didn't pull the gold testing out. This is pretty. I don't know if there's another one there, but look, I think that's a lovely earring. These are acrylic pieces. They're not glass. And uh, this piece feels like, like an imitation jersey. Many of these. Oh, these are pretty. Here, let me hang them up. They're, ho they're hoops. And that is very, very loose in there. These aren't, these are like a craft item. So forget that. Um, I'm sure somebody could use these for something. That one piece is breaking, so I, I wouldn't. This is called bauble something. Let me look at it. This earring is. Bauble Rommel, I think it says. I don't know if there's two of them. It's kind of a nice earring, though. It's a faux pearl. They're set like mob-based style pearls. 
there's one of those and one of those. I don't know if we're gonna get two of those or not. What else have I got? This is a very dirtied up. This is a craft, but that's those are nice. Those stones are, I think they're supposed to be that color. But look at the back. I guess I could try wiping it up if this is a pair and maybe somebody would like them, but. It is glass and that's a root bear color and this piece of glass down there. I don't know if there's two of those either. This is a faux pearl, which I made to look like pearls and enamel clip. No name on it. I'm moving extremely slow. I'm gonna speed it up just a tiny bit. Um I <laughs> When I, when I get in like my, my, not somber, I don't want to say I'm somber, but my introspective type of mood, things slow down for me um, mentally a little bit. And I, because I'm thinking and I'm pausing um, deliberately. And it's not, a, it's a good thing to think and pause between um, events in your life before you act again. You should pause and you should think before more action happens so you do not continue to cause hurt to other people or make the same mistakes. Um, I, I, to me, it's 100% necessary for me to pause. And I feel like I'm in a slow mood because of it. I love the frog. I have a green one. I have one my sister gave me too. And one that I got in Stevens, a lot I got from Steven of brooches. My first big purchase really. Um, but he's cute. He, he's missing eyeballs. He will join the family. <laughs> he will join my family. Look, did I already? There's another one of these. I do not know what that is. I think it's some kind of leaf. There's another one. They're not, they're not sterling. Here's the other earring. I do have that earring. This is a big, this is a stretch bracelet and the stretch feels really odd in it. I would put that in craft to see if maybe somebody could use it for something. And let me move that. This is a, this has that metal, I, that feeling that I, yuck, it needs wiped off. <clears throat> I'll clean it. But it's, I don't think it's a bad looking necklace. Somebody would wear this. It's, I don't know what it's supposed to look like, but that is acrylic. There's the back. It feels almost like, it feels like halide actually. It may be. Yeah, it's a stone of some sort fail, but there you go. I don't think that's bad looking. Um, I don't see it in this big um piece. Of, it's missing thing. I think. Oh no, it's not. That's the way it's made. You have these big pieces of acrylic, and it needs wiped down. This necklace feels a little dirty. Um, there's silver gold tone in that, and does it have a name on it? Um, no, but it does have a hang tag back there and a big lobster claw hook. It needs cleaned up. Um. Here's the back. This may be a big paparazzi again. People do um, buy and sell paparazzi, so don't dis I don't discredit it. It's jewelry. This oh, this is pretty, I think. And I would test this just to make sure it's at least a base. The wire is not gold, but look how pretty that is. I am. I like these. This is a nice. Um, like it's like cloudy on one side. I don't know what that's called. I know there probably is a name for that. My hands look disgusting from it's actually from the jewelry jar. Um, a jewelry bag. When they throw them all together, I guess they're dirty. But and I probably should put a coat of polish on, but you know, it is what it is. I didn't. <laughs> sure you guys don't mind that much, right? Um, they're not that unsightly. Okay, so they're pretty. One side looks like that, and the other side looks like that. Very beautiful, actually. I test them to make sure they're not a stone, but I think it's faceted glass. But I think they're nice, so they go on the on this side. I, I do separate them by what I think um, the potential of jewelry is. Here's this. This is nice, too. These are real pearls. Those are freshwater pearls. I don't know what that is. I would, I'll test it. I'm going to scratch to see if it's sterling. It has a V on it, and the name is, um, I'm just scratching it, and I will bring it back. That's definitely not sterling there. Um, all right. 
There is a tag I found on it. There it is. I don't know. Can you see that? Can I see that? I can't really see it right now. Oh, no, hang it up. That says China. And it says TR, and I don't know what that is. But these, this is me. I'll, I'll look it up and see if I can figure it out, and I'll make sure that's not some kind of stone. It looks like faceted glass, and there's little rhinestone rondelles on it and um, a V with rhinestones. And if that faceted purple-looking, probably glass, but I'll make sure it's not stone because you never know. It's a pretty bracelet, though. I think that's a nice bracelet. Um, what's that? Oh, this is a necklace. I'm like, what's that? This is... I don't know who that is either. I feel like I don't know a lot of some of the jewelry that I pull out like this. CG, I think. Um, I don't know who that is. But you have the acrylic balls and faceted glass Beads in the middle and roses. Silver tone. It's got a good weight to it. It's not bad with the necklace, I don't think. Next is this must have fell off of something. Like off of an earring or something. It's a base piece. Let me see if it's sterling. It's not scratching like it. I don't know. Somebody can use that in craft or something. I'm almost done. Here's the earrings. I went through that. This I didn't do. This is a little tangled up as well. Look, it's like some... I'm not going to struggle through the... It's faux, glass faux pearls. Yeah. This is shell. Like, mother of pearl pieces. It's a stretch bracelet. I didn't have many pins brooches in here. This is black acrylic and silver tone. I did have this one. Um, this little bracelet. Uh, was that not supposed to be on there? Yeah, look. There's a lock on it, and that comes off, I think. Yeah, look. You take the little lock off. It's a Christmas one. I think it's wiped off. It's a cute bracelet. It's a Christmas bracelet. Snowman. These are glass. It needs wiped up. Kind of looks like a Pandora. It's probably an imitation. <clears throat> I still haven't checked out the Pandora, maybe Pandora jewelry I found. I got to make sure it's real before I offer it. And so I'm, I'm going to look at it soon and I may bring it on Monday. I, I need to make sure it's real. <clears throat> I'll take it. Maybe to the filler. I don't know. I think I figured that out on my own. Um, I don't know if I really know. But there's that, and that's cute, but it doesn't clean up. This is an enameled piece, enamel and gold tone with a spring ring gold tone clasp. It's a little faded up at this part, but it's pretty. I don't see any hallmarks on it. And this. This is a big like acrylic and some wood. And those are plastic pieces. They're acrylic as well. I've gotten through most of the bag. It's taken me 43 minutes. Um, there's that. And then there's this. I have no idea. I thought the chain on this is nice. I think it, look, it's a fairly nice chain. It's a costume piece. Um, there's enameling on there. Sweet. A bracelet that says naughty and nice. Something I won't let my daughter wear. And that sounds a little crazy, but I see kids walking around with naughty and nice clothes on. And no, not for Eva. Not yet. But um, this is cute, though. It says naughty on one side, nice on the other. And has red little rhinestones around it. And um, that's a cute little bracelet for a young teenage girl. A little older of a teenage girl. I mean. Wouldn't let my minor really wear one of those. If they want to do it themselves and buy it, they could. But it's not something I'm a supplier with. <clears throat> These are a big shell. Look at this. Okay. 
wires. Wire earrings. What else is in the haul? Anna, third person there. Um, these rhinestone earrings. These are pretty beat. They would go in the craft or possibly the garbage. To be honest, um, I try to put fairly nice things in my craft that I know can be utilized by somebody and not just anything that I don't want. You know, because um, <laughs> it has to be you. Like I'd put this in there. It's pretty. That'll go in. Um, I would put the bubble warm rama. Somebody could do something with those. They're nice faux pearls there. Nice luster on them. They're not faded. And there's only one of each earring as far as I can see. This is a choker. And we'll test to make sure that's not stone. I think it's just uh, glass seed beads. But sometimes it is. So I will test it. Okay, let's put it on there. Just look at that for a minute. I don't have a whole lot more, actually not any more besides this. This is a brace, a base metal, like a silver tone metal. Yeah, it's silver tone. It could be used for those charms, maybe put together a little bracelet for a youngster. Or somebody who does not care if it's sterling, because some people don't. I wear jewelry, it's not sterling or gold. I'm not picky like that. Um, if you wear the uh, vintage costume, even like the YSL or whatever, Christian Dior, you're wearing a base, a metal that is plated with gold. It's not pure, pure gold. So these are nice little tassel earrings, kind of go with that tassel. They're not bad though. They need wiped up a little bit, but they're not bad. They're nice. Um, that's it. I'm done. I am done, I mean. Um, well, wait, one more pair of earrings here. Let me, they're just acrylic plastic. Okay, so that's it. That is my 5.85 pound jewelry lot from Shop Goodwill. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, or give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. Oh. <laughs> Thank, if you are a viewer has not subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. Join me at my auctions on Monday, even if you're not interested in purchasing or if you're not able, I'd still like you to stop in and say hello. Anybody is welcome at my auctions. Um, I like to have an open door policy there in regards to accepting anybody and hoping that people who do come to my chat and my auctions can be kind and um, and, uh, and consider to each other during the time that you're in my chat. Um, at my auctions and leave your differences aside during that period of time you know even during you know there's times of worse circumstances than what we currently face in our lives and what we consider to be so traumatic in our life where people put differences aside under much 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 more serious circumstances and they get along for a short period of time so if you'd like to participate and come, which I hope that I, people do like and accept me for who I am and my willingness to accept other people um, when I, it's not the popular opinion, um, because I am all about that. I make my decisions by who I am. I don't take, let other people influence me with their words. And I, um, I like to be kind to as many people as I possibly can. So with that said, I hope that you will join me at my auction on Monday. And if I've ever said anything that has made anybody uncomfortable, let me know in private. I'd appreciate that very much. It's how we should handle that type of thing is it's a private matter. You discuss it in private like two adults and um, come to some type of con like um, resolve that's, that's comfortable for both people involved, um, but in a private manner. So thank you for watching my video. I hope to see you Monday. Check out my Thrifty Thursday video tomorrow. You may be surprised. I offer a variety. You will see some names in there. You may see Sterling. You may see Stone. So check it out. And I hope to see you guys later. I hope you'll stick around. And I hope you did enjoy my video. Thank you. Goodbye.